You hit the nail on the head, Joe. This is a very rare disease that we're talking about for this application that Intellia Therapeutics um, had this tremendous success over the weekend in. Um, but it really is a proof point for CRISPR gene editing. This is the gene editing technology that won the Nobel Prize last year. Uh, and you can see Intellia up there more than 52 percent, along with Regeneron, its partner, up almost 3 percent on this news this morning. This is the first time that CRISPR has been used delivered systemically as a medicine to the human body. What that means is it was given as an IV infusion uh, for this rare disease uh, known as ATTR, transthyretin amyloidosis. It affects about 50,000 people. Um, and what they needed to do was make this genetic cut to try to reduce a protein uh, or a gene that was creating a protein that would build up and cause these issues for patients. And what they found is that after one administration of this CRISPR technology, they reduced that protein in the high dose by 87%. And guys, this is a phase one trial, only six patients. That high dose was only in three patients, but you can see the implications of proving that this can be done. Previously, CRISPR was used either in cells that were taken out of patients' bodies, edited in the lab, and then given back, or injected directly into the site where you needed to make these genetic edits. This is the first time it's really been delivered as other medicines are delivered systemically. So you can see alnylam, which is a competitor in this very rare disease, is down 11% on this. Even though this is only phase one data, they've still got a ways to go to get this potentially to market. Um, but it's also boosting CRISPR stocks across the board. Uh, another company called CRISPR and another one called Editas, uh, both seeing boosts from this just because it's proving uh, that CRISPR can really be turned into a medicine in a broader way. Guys? Yeah, uh, we were just talking a little bit uh, off camera, and I know Becky wants in, but, but Meg, the, there are a lot of hereditary diseases, uh, but, but many are not hereditary, and you think of cancer or Alzheimer's and all these things, but they do have gene products, and if we can identify where the aberration is, whether it's a, uh, it comes later in life. It's not in your, your stem cells. It's not in your germ cells, but it's in, it just happens to you as you're living, whatever. You, you could block gene products that cause just about anything using this, this technology. So the application would be way beyond just hereditary diseases. Yeah, absolutely. If you can figure out a protein that you want to uh, block or you want to make more of, um, that's where this technology is potentially differentiated. There are other technologies that block the production of proteins. Uh, that alnylam drug that's already out there for this rare disease does that. Um, so CRISPR could potentially go in either direction. But there are still a lot of things that need to get proven out yeah. here. This is six patients in a phase one clinical trial, but it's the first time we've seen it done, delivered as medicine. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.